Hey y'all, I'm back here with another video. And if you wanna see what I have in store, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so my name is Ayoko Beauty and you can call me Ashley if you want, it's up to you. And I'm just back here with another video. So basically, the trends for fall and winter are basically out, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to run to the store and get everything that's on trend. What I personally did is look my closet in my wardrobe to see what I already have without having to break the bank or buy things that I know that I'll probably give away in the next year. So bright knitwear is definitely on trend for fall and winter 2022 slash 2023. Like this one I have here, I got this from Sheen. Bottega Green is very still much on trend. It's not going anywhere. It's maybe not as new as say the um, Valentino pink but it is very much still a trend and I'm glad that I still have that in my closet rather than going to shop outside of it so yeah so yeah with trench coats like that is already gonna be a staple so I'm just really glad that that's something that's on trend because who doesn't have a trench coat in their wardrobe like that's like a no-go like you need a trench coat hun. like you need one so what I did is I have this basically kind of faux croc embossed faux leather from Pretty Little Thing. Like that was a really popular jacket last year. I even seen some of the straight size girls have it in a like a pastel blue. Yes, that's really on trend. Um, I love it. It's like kind of to the like a trench coat that kind of falls to the floor. And even trench coats in different colors. Those it, it's all on trend. Next, I'm going to talk about cargo pants. So the cargo pants I already have, they're not necessarily the most fashion forward style, but they're cargos nonetheless. I have these camo embossed um, pants that I got from Fashion Nova a few years ago, and they work. They're still very much on trend. Um, usually uh, the flare cargo pants are on trend right now, but this is more of a cuffed um, cargo pant. I really matched it. I matched it with um, a, a cropped uh, black top and basically some uh, high rise uh, boxer shorts. Kind of give you that boyish look, but you can dress it up or dress it down. You could either wear like some gym shoes with it or you could wear uh, some heels with it to kind of like elevate it like a street style with heels or whatever. My inspo was Glow Princess. She's on here. She's also on Instagram too. Um, but obviously with plus size vibes, I really thought it was flattering and it really hit my tummy. Bomber jackets are very much on trend. I don't really think they went anywhere. They just weren't as popular. I don't think they ever went out of style. But for this year, like it came back. Everybody wanted a bomber jacket. So I'm so glad that I did not throw mine away. I got mine a few years ago from boohoo and it kind of has like a it's a uh, this orange tint on it and pop of color is also on trend for this year so and i kind of paired it with my um birkin dupe from um ali you can find it on amazon as well i'll link it if i can find some so it kind of was very simple but it definitely gave elevated and very trendy a super cute simple look but definitely dressed up Next, I'm going to talk about denim on denim, aka the Canadian tuxedo, but it's worldwide at this point. So I've seen like a lot of people do the mood glare look with the denim on denim, the crop jacket with the matching jeans to match. Um, obviously, I've done mine with plus size vibes. I got my crop jacket from Fashion Nova. I'll link it below. And also with my favorite light wash jeans with kind of a flare. Um, I did bun it up so it could have that more uniform look. Um, yeah, it was super cute. I would wear that even if it wasn't on trend. Like that's just a timeless look. So basically like when you have style, nothing really goes out of trend. So I gotta give myself a pat on the back at this point because I didn't really have to do no shopping like that when it comes to being on trend. I mean, a lot of people say don't follow trends, be your own person, but nobody wants to see here looking out data hunt. Like you don't want to be sitting here looking like you buying something from like, no, like it's good to have style, but it's good to follow the trends as well. 
I don't care what nobody said. Call me a follower. Call me. I'm going to be talking about preppy looks. So preppy look is definitely on style mixing. So I kind of guess that falls into like Y2K. All right, I'm plus size. I'm not about to be following that mini skirt trend. Like I got too much ass, too much stomach, too much hips for that. Like no. But what I will do is get a, a skirt according to my body type and you know because everybody's mini isn't the same mini as yours get your mini according to your body type and that fits you and makes you look good so that's what i did i paired it with a leather um faux leather skirt from shein with the white button up top from shein and i got this red corset to wear with it and it kind of gave uh preppy looks and paired it with some thigh high boots thought that was so cute and also with like some white faux Valentina, not not faux, but like in the, um, inspired Valentino heart shaped glasses. Beyonce also works. Look also falls into preppy, but also falls into basically just fun. Like I feel like people are kind of over the super monotone, super fun. Don't get it's good to have as your essentials, but people want to play dress up. People want to have fun. So definitely like quirky sweaters, like colorful sweaters with different designs. And I have this checkered sweater from Shein with green trimming on the edges. And they, it just was a look, it just was a vibe. It was super fun doing this whole lookbook. And this is basically like everything I've been wearing or like my, basically my uniform for the fall going into the winter. So like, body suits jumpsuits same thing in my eyes but yes yeah, so i had this black jumpsuit i've had it in my wardrobe for years now and i've i got i have so many different colors in those like i feel like those are a staple it's good that they're turning staples into trends meaning that you could wear that type of stuff for years to come so this is what i mean when you don't when you invest in yourself and you invest in your basics you really don't have to like go outside and look for the trends. You kind of have it, just shop your closet basically. I also paired it with a pink jacket. So Valentino pink is definitely on trend. So if you're not into colors, I would say maybe invest in a jacket as well, or um, like a cute little crop jacket to kind of keep it simple and pair it with black. I feel like when you pair your bright colors with black, it kind of tones it down and gives it like a balanced look. I also have, for Valentino Pink, I also have this set from Fashion Nova. It's more on the neon side, but it definitely falls in like the fuchsia um, Valentino era that everybody's going so crazy over today. It's really flattering and I love that it's a set so I can break it up. It's a crop top or you have this long maxi skirt that you could wear with something else. And that's a win-win for me. So if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I love doing hauls that are basically dupes because I am a baddie on a budget, not necessarily talking about buying replica items, but just buying inspired pieces. So I love texture in my accessories when I just want to play it simple, but my accessories can stand out. That's a very good way to play it safe um yeah so basically i have these fur bags that are, comes in different colors i'll definitely link my accessories haul in a link go check that out so i paired this look i have a leather on leather look which is basically the same faux leather corset in red that you guys saw me wear but i paired it with this um these so I paired it with these um, leather faux pants, faux leather pants, excuse me, from Fashion Nova. They have some of the best faux leather pants that I have ever worn and they're lined and they're super thick. I just love the complimentary colors together. You wouldn't really think to put those two together. And like if I wear it with a denim purse, it kind of gives me that Americana vibe. Super cute and super on trend. Guys, that's basically all I have for this lookbook. And I just wanted to like show you guys that you guys can still be on trend and shop your closet at the same time. If you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Press the like button, lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And let me know which look was your favorite.